Remind yourself that you are not here to just have an easy life for everything to stay the same. Allah will keep changing everything in your life. The devil, as soon as life changes for you, as soon as things become difficult for you, he wants you to question Allah just like he questioned Allah. Sometimes everything is bright like the day, and sometimes everything is dark like the night. The situation around you will change. But one who will never change is Allah. Remember that Allah can change the entire universe around you, so He can change your situation too. Because the only one who never changes is Allah Azza wa Jal. So declare how perfect Allah is. Your situation is not perfect. Your own strength is not perfect. Your own ability to withstand your enemy is not perfect. But Allah is perfect and He is with you. Allah's justice will always be better than your justice. Allah's plan will always be better than your plan. Allah always knows what you don't know. Call out to Allah. Cry to Him. Don't underestimate. And when something comes to you, you have no control over. And it is a calamity. First things first, thank Allah. And one thing went wrong according to us, but it was not wrong according to Allah. The human mind looks at it as a negativity. That was the beginning of the positivity. Allah creates positives out of a negative. What seems negative to you is a positive to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you are a believer and you lay your trust in Allah, nothing can go wrong. There's five times as many of you on the earth that never got to say La ilaha illallah, aren't there? And He chose you. He chose you to say it. He chose you to say Muhammadur Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa didn't He? You didn't have to be born in a Muslim family. You could have been born in a Buddhist family. Some of you took shahada. You could have never found Islam. Allah chose you. Your Heritage didn't choose you. You know, the, the baby, the soul is brought from the angel into the womb of the mother. That soul could have been brought to any mother, but he chose your mother. He chose that family. He chose to give you this Islam. He chose to give you this la ilaha illallah. And he tells you in this ayah, why did I choose you? Because you have the skill to do for me what you need to do, as it deserves to be done. At times, you want things so desperately, but Allah does not give them to you because he knows that this is not good for your future. Just ask Allah, Oh Allah, if it is good for me, give it to me. If it is not good for me, do not give it for me to me. And if you don't get it, be convinced in your heart, no matter how much you loved it and wanted it and desperately cried for it. If it did not come in your direction, it was not good for you. Move on. Trust Allah, trust him. Do your best as a human. Beyond that, you can't do. You have to try your best and leave the rest in the hands of Allah. Don't become depressed. Trust Allah. Allah knows he planned it for you before you were born. He knew it was going to come in your direction. He just wants to watch. What's your reaction and what are you going to do? That's Allah. Allah doesn't need anyone. Rather, it is us that needs Him subhanahu wa ta'ala. Go and search the world. I challenge anyone. You will never find ultimate peace and happiness except with Allah. This world cannot give you peace and happiness. Allah alone can give you peace and happiness. Allah created people around you, not for nothing. He chose them as a test. You will have problems with some of them. You will have friendship with some of them. You will have dealings with some of them. You will have so much with some of them. Allah just wants to see, are you still going to make us the focus of your life? Or will you dwindle and drown in this worldly life? As a believer, when things happen to me, as much as it may bring about sadness because I'm a human being, I live in hope. I live in tremendous hope and I live with a sense of joy for having been chosen to engage in an act of worship known as patience or sabr that is only granted to those whom the Almighty loves. When Allah loves you, He gives you an opportunity to go through sabr.